the legendary Standing Stones of Stonehenge in southern England. Thought to have been erected around four and a half thousand years ago as a prehistoric temple aligned with the movements of the sun, they attract one million visitors a year, come rain or shine. But only now can the site boast its own museum. Part of a £27 million project to restore the natural environment around the stones and provide tourist facilities worthy of its reputation. There was so much traffic and there were temporary huts for the lavatories. It was very, very ugly. But the second point was that people who came had no proper explanation of what this incredible monument was, what it was for, who built it, etc. So um, we're very pleased that we've managed to deal with both those problems. We've got rid of the ugly mess and people who come can now begin to understand what this incredible place is all about. While one road past the site is being grassed over and the existing car park and gift shop relocated out of sight, a busy major road remains close by, deemed too expensive to divert or tunnel underground. From now on, access to the site will be via a shuttle service only from the museum, linking the virtual world created by the exhibition with the imposing reality of the stones themselves which in spite of recent archaeological progress retain their aura of mystery. I think with our archaeology and with new scientific techniques we will get closer and closer to understanding um, the history of Stonehenge and how it changed, possibly how it was used. We know an awful lot more about the landscape around Stonehenge now than we did say 10 years ago. So I do believe that we'll get a better understanding of what it was for but I suspect it will always keep some secrets and there will always be some mysteries. Visitors will now have to pay almost twice as much to sample the mysteries of Stonehenge, with an adult paying £14.90 instead of £8. But managers feel that by restoring to the site a little of its former dignity, it's a price worth paying.